Number 13, we're asked to sketch a graph of the following equation. So you notice that we have an even degree and a leading coefficient that is negative. So you have to know that even degree with a negative leading coefficient means down on the left and also down on the right. Now I recognize that I can factor out of these. Um, I'm going to factor out, just look in here and say what's going to be the best. I know I want to factor out an x squared. And you know what, I think that I'll take just an x squared to start with. And let's go with negative 1 half x squared minus 1x plus 4. Let's make sure this is correct. x to the fourth with a negative 1 half, negative 1, x to the third, and positive 4x squared. Okay. Now, let's see, is this factorable? If this is not factorable, I'll use the quadratic formula. Maybe that's what you want to try right away, um, if this seems overwhelming to you. So a is negative 1 half, b is negative 1, and c is 4. x equals negative b, plus or minus, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. Remember, you're not using a calculator. So negative, and then I plug in a negative 1 for b. That gives us a positive. Two negatives make a positive negative 1 squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2 times a. Two negatives make a positive. Okay, I'm going to come off to the side, and I'm going to figure out what this discriminant is inside. Negative 1 squared is 1. Now, negative 4 times negative 1 half. Well, 4 times 1 half, or half of 4 is 2, and two negatives make a positive. So this is positive 2 positive 2 times 4 is 8. So 1 plus 8 is on the inside of this, or 9. Half of 2 is 1, and there's negative. So I have 1 plus or minus 3 over negative 1. Let's first add. So first I'm going to add and get an answer, and next I'm going to subtract and get an answer. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 divided by negative 1. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, negative 2 divided by negative 1. Okay, so these are two answers. Now I have four answers. These are two answers, and I achieved that from this area, so sorry, from this trinomial. I also need to take out front the x squared and set it equal to 0. Why am I setting it equal to 0? Because I'm trying to find the roots, the x-intercepts, the solutions. So when I find the quadratic, when I use the quadratic formula, I'm essentially setting it equal to zero to solve. So when I set this equal, I get two answers, and we can see they're both zero. So I have a duplicate at zero. Let's draw this. So zero, zero will have a duplicate. One, two, three, four, there's a negative four, and here's positive two. It needs to be down on the left and down on the right. Down on the left, down on the right, and it has to be a duplicate here. So let's see, how can I do this? It's going to come up, it's going to be a duplicate, and then back down. Something like that should be straight through, not cubic. 